What's up ladies and gents? Welcome back to Facts and Opinions with Don. I'm Donald January Jr. It's great to have you back. Today I want to speak to you about finding your truth. I put the emphasis on your for a reason. Because it's imperative that you realize your path is one that is uniquely laid out for you to walk. So many times we hear people tell us that you have to do things their way. And that's the only way to do it. While that mindset may be true in some cases, I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt that it's absolutely untrue when it comes to spiritual matters. I wouldn't tell you something wrong. I'm speaking from experience. If that actually were the case, think about it. Everyone would be the same and have nothing to offer. We would be living in a bland, lifeless, unanimated world. That just doesn't sound very appealing to me. The key to constant growth and fulfilling your destiny is walking a righteous path. And when I say righteous, I mean doing the right thing based on who you were created to be, your life's experience, and following your conscience, among other things. Take my life, for example. There are decisions that I made when I was 20 years old that I would never make now at age 35. To be totally honest, sometimes I look back and I just think how stupid some of the decisions that I made at certain points in my life have been. Now had I known the things that I know now, there's no way in hell I would have made some of the decisions I've made or walked in some of the traps that I've walked into in the past. But on the other hand, there's no way I'd have the wisdom to be able to recognize and avoid those situations had I not learned those things firsthand at a younger age. I might be inclined to make those mistakes as those situations arise later in life had I not gone through it already. In short, without going through that, I don't become the man that I am today. My knowing this helps me to understand others and to not judge when I see them make mistakes that I wouldn't make as long as they're not harming me or anyone else. Who knows? They could come out of their storm and help me grow in some way or another in the future. You just never know. The truth is, I've been through a lot in a relatively short time in life. So people often don't think I'm as wise and hip to life in the ways of the world as I am. It's not uncommon for me to come across someone that is where I once was that thinks they've already figured everything out. When I see this, I, I kind of just laugh, laugh it off to myself and stay humble because I was once in their shoes. But the fact of the matter is that you sometimes have to go through things and learn them for yourself to genuinely learn and grow in life. Your background, the people that you meet, and your experiences will mold you and, and inform your idea of what's right and what's wrong. That idea of what's right is broad and kind of loose in your youth. But if you're genuinely living right and working toward becoming a better person and doing right by everyone, then your path gets narrower, narrower. But don't worry, the wide path that got you to that narrow one made you ready for the test and for the blessings and even the storms that will lie ahead. But once you get to the point of walking in truth and that it's second nature, I can assure you that the blessings will outweigh the problems. Just hang in there till you get there. Pray, meditate, listen to that still small voice in times of trouble, but in times of peace as well. Fine tuning your moral compass. Fine tuning your moral compass takes time. But that's all you have to do to find your truth and to move toward a blessed life. Before I go, I'll leave you with one last bit of advice on this subject. You can do all that you can to grow and be blessed. But if you're surrounded by people that are going nowhere and have no desire to grow, the only way you're going to be able to keep them around is if you choose to stay where they are. Choose your friends and acquaintances wisely, family. That's all I got for now. This is Facts and Opinions with Don. I'm Donald January Jr. Until next time, peace.